What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add end screens on YouTube. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now for those that don't know what end screens are, as you can see I have up my video earlier this week, and it's coming towards the end of the video, and if I just play this through, then be sure to leave it in the comments below what? Automatically these things pop up and it's a video here, a video here, a video here and then it's telling people to subscribe to my channel or just click on this and it'll take them to my channel page. And this is end screens and we can have this fully customized meaning we can have one video, we can have two videos, three videos, four videos and we don't even have to have this. This feature was actually only given out to everyone to use sometime last month before that the other creators or the bigger creators on YouTube were testing it. So for the purpose of this tutorial I've switched over to my gaming channel because I don't have any end cards here and I'm going to be showing you how to add them. So the first thing you need to do is head over to your video and come down and select end screen and annotations. Now when you click it you're going to get this, you can just select got it and this is what you're going to get. Now one thing you should know, if your video is already made public and you forgot to add end screen that's totally fine you can go back and do it. If your video is privated you can still add on end screens, if your video is scheduled you can still add on end screens. So you can add on end screens whenever you want to, uh, most people probably do it while the video is scheduled for a certain time so then once the video is uploaded the end screens will be there for people to see. Another thing to note, as you can see here, we can only use end screens in the last 20 seconds of the video. So where this bar is to the end of the video, that's where we can show our end screens. So as you can see over the side, it says add element. Before we do that though, as you can see it says use template. If we select this, this is some templates. These are some templates that YouTube implemented for us. So as you can see, we can have the video and just the subscribe button. If we come down here, as you can see, this is for one video, one subscribe and one link. And here is for two videos, etc, etc. Now for me, I like to customize myself. As you can see here, it says add element. So we're going to left click it. And you can see this is what we can add. We can add a link, we can add a channel, we can subscribe button or a video or a playlist. So I'm going to add a video and this is a good feature. So what I like to do, I like to have one which is most recent uploaded. So I would select this and select create element and I'll keep it on the top left. Then I'm going to come back to add element, a video and now I'll use a best for viewer and select create element and I'll put this to the right. I'll then come here again to add element. I'll add another video. This time I'm going to choose a video that is on my channel. You can see here you can enter a YouTube video URL or a playlist URL or alternatively you can come down, scroll through your videos, pick one that you like. I'm going to pick uh, this one here. Select create element. As you can see it is now in place right here. And this one, or these two, as you can see, they don't show the thumbnails, but it does say underneath shows on playback. So don't worry about that. This one's showing the thumbnails because this is the one we picked. And the next thing we're gonna add the subscribe button. So we're gonna come to add element. We're gonna come to channel. We're gonna come to subscribe and click create. And what it does, it brings up your logo. And everything snaps into place like Photoshop. It has these rulers. So there we go and it adds your logo right there and there we go you're all set up so if you come down this is how long it's going to last mine's going to last all the way to the end of the video if you want it to stop at a certain time you're going to have to drag all of them back one by one to that certain time just like this something i recommend for the cards you show on your video maybe do things related to the video. For example, this was a FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. So it's FIFA 17, it's gonna attract FIFA fans. So as you can see, that is why I've put a, another FIFA 17 video. But of course, if you're a tutorial channel, then add different tutorials, maybe on Photoshop, Sony Vegas, etc. And just give your fans or the people watching your video something else to click on that they're also going to enjoy. Now the final thing I'm going to be telling you about end screens, you cannot use annotations. So if I show you what annotations are very quickly, annotations is basically the older version. Uh, one thing about the annotations, as you can see, they don't work on mobile, whereas cards, they work on mobile 
and on computers, so it's giving you a better chance of getting more exposure to your other videos. Now very quickly, I'm going to use a template and I'm just going to show you how to edit it. So we're going to select this one right here, select, select, and this is what you're going to get. As you can see, it says video and available. You select the video and as you can see, it's here. You want to come here and select edit element and then you can choose again your most recent upload best for viewer or you can choose a video yourself so i'm going to pick a video myself and the same for the other one video unavailable we're going to select edit element and maybe most recent and select save and now that is all sorted and again choose the time how long you want it to last remember it's only the last 20 seconds of your video you can have end screens you can't put it any uh in the middle of the video or at the start of the video. But that is it for this video. Definitely be sure to take advantage of end screens. It's a definitely a good way to promote your other videos for mobile users and PC users. As you can see, you can promote up to three or even four videos at once. And that also now brings up the importance of thumbnails because they're going to show your thumbnails, make sure your thumbnails are appealing, and then of course your viewers are going to click on the end screens. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you and like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.